Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install shaders and Optifine for Minecraft 1.17. That's right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install shaders and Optifine for Minecraft 1.17 real quick. Before we do so, of course, I wanna remind you that if you enjoy this particular video and find it helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like this type of content and other videos about Minecraft and just games in general, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And last but not least, if you need a good and reliable Minecraft server, then be sure to use my affiliate link down below in the description. If you do buy a server over at Apex Minecraft Hosting, you will also support me. And then without any further ado, here's how to install shaders and Optifine for Minecraft 1.17. So what we're going to do, we're going to install Optifine. Then I'm going to show you how to fix some issues that you may have with the Optifine installation. And then last but not least, we're of course going to be adding actual shaders to Minecraft. So I keep saying this, but for most applications, you need to run Minecraft just once. So what you're going to want to do is open your Minecraft launcher, select the version that you're going to use Optifine with. So in this case, it's 1.17, but in the future, it might be 1.17.1 or 0.2. You just select that one, you click play, and then once you're here, you now have 1.17 on your PC, and now you can just click quick game. Now what we're gonna do is actually install Optifine. So what you wanna do is open up your browser and go to danielplace.net. These links will also be down in the description. You wanna find this post that says how to install Optifine for 1.17. You click it because this one contains the links that you're gonna need. So the first one you are going to need is download 1.17 Optifine. You click this one right here and it will take you to optifine.net because there's only pre-releases and no full releases for 1.17 you have to click preview versions right here and then there's a couple there but for this video it's important you actually use the latest one the pre-22 in the future there will be other ones newer ones and you can use any ones you want but for now you should always use a version that is pre-22 or above so what you want to do now is either click download or mirror for the sake of this video it's going to be a bit faster if you click mirror so what you want to do now is open up a new tab come back here click download and then close this tab because it will avoid ads now as you can see we have just downloaded optifine.jar you just click keep right there i'm going to drag this over to my desktop real quick and as you can see it has this java icon but for some people it does not have this java icon so if it does not have this icon what you can try to do is right click open with and then find java platform as binary in this list if java is not there it might mean that you don't have java so what you want to do in that case is go down in the description to the same link go back to the same post on danielplace.net and then there's this link that says jar fix and you just want to click this link right here it will take you to this website and then you can actually click jarfix.exe right here you click this program you execute it and you click yes and what it will do is actually tell you either the .jar suffix has been registered correctly or you need to download and install Java. And there will be a link in there. It will look like this or it will say you don't have Java yet and there will be a link in there that doesn't work. So if that didn't work and it told you to download Java, what you want to do is actually come back to this post on danielplace.net and click the Java download link right here. After that, you can either run jar fix again or you can just now actually retry this first thing that I told you to do and that is open with and it should be over here or choose another app and when you click more apps Java should be in here and you can now actually open this installer so I'm gonna click OK but that is one way to open it if you already had Java or you managed to fix the icon you just double click it and it will open this installer all you got to do is click install might take a few seconds and then it says Optifine is successfully installed you click OK open up your Minecraft launcher and there you go you now have the Optifine profile but we still need shaders so that's going to be very straightforward once again you come back to this post on danielplace.net it's all in the same post so it's very easy here's BSL shaders you click this link right here to the official download page for BSL it says here this page and my site is the official source for BSL shaders. So do not download it from any other page than this page or the official BSL shader website. So once you're on this page, you wanna actually scroll down and get the one that says Minecraft 1.16. You could download the 1.14 one because for shaders, versions don't really matter. Just click this download icon, wait five seconds, and then your download will start. 
I'm gonna drag this over to our desktop. One thing you should keep in mind, don't unpack it. Don't actually go and try to drag this shaders folder into your actual Minecraft shaders. That's not gonna work. You want it to be this .zip file and you don't wanna change anything about that. So now what you wanna do is launch Minecraft with the Optifine profile. It will give you this warning, but that's totally fine. That will happen for any modded version of Minecraft there is. So here we are in Minecraft 1.17. It says mod it. That's because we added Optifine to it. If you now go into options, video settings in the bottom left corner right here, it should now say Optifine HD something in your version. And then in the bottom right corner, it will say Minecraft 1.17. So now as you can see for the first time in a long while, the shaders button actually appeared over here and you can click it. It should be empty if you've never installed Optifine before. If you have your other shaders from previous versions should be in here and some might work, some might not. So what you wanna do is click shaders folder right here, move this over to the side and then drag the BSL zip file in here. That is literally it. If we now go back into Minecraft, you can see it's already there. For some people it takes a few refreshes. So you go back into options, video settings and shaders and it's now there. All you gotta do now is click it. This will actually apply the shaders to Minecraft. You click done, 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 single player. And I'm just gonna load up any 1.17 world because it should now actually have the shaders. So let's close this. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see the shaders. So there we go. Now I did hear that this Optifine release, the one that I have actually currently shown you how to install is not 100% stable for all shaders just yet. Like shaders like Chocopic and Soldier's Vibrant didn't really work very well, but this one actually does. So you can also download other shaders that might actually run way better on your system. So don't worry about that. This tutorial works for any shader pack you actually want to use in Minecraft. But just so you know that because this is such an early release of Optifine, some shaders might actually show bugs and will not look as good as they actually should. So that's been it for this video. I hope this video actually helped you out in installing Optifine in shaders for Minecraft 1.17. If it actually did, you know what to do. Hit that like button because that will let other people know that this tutorial actually works. And it also shows me that you kind of thought this video was helpful. Also, of course, if you did like this video and want to see more of these kinds of videos pop up on your homepage, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Like I said, if you want to support the channel and get a really good Minecraft server, then be sure to use my affiliate link down below in the description to Apex Minecraft hosting. There's also some links down below in the description to all of the gear that you see in this video, also the gear that you don't see, like the camera that is recording this video. If you do use those links, and even if you don't get the exact same camera or you just get like a pencil, I don't know, I will earn a small commission from that as well. So there's multiple ways you can support the channel if you really feel like doing so. And then without any further ado, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!